Hi everybody and welcome back into the Fox 9 Game Room. Many of you are probably familiar with the traditions of college athletics, but alongside the excitement of college football and the madness of college basketball, eSports is slowly starting to make its way into the picture. In the old days, you probably heard your parents say, hey, shut off the video games and get to studying. Well, these days, young men and women are not only proving that you can do both, but if you're good enough on the controller, some colleges are even saying, you can come play for us. A lot of these students have found their community in the eSports program. I mean, the, the arena is full from the time I get there until when I leave. Uh, a lot of these students wouldn't have had that community otherwise. We're student gamers at Minnesota State Mankato. And I did not go with the intention of playing eSports. I actually found it my sophomore year. How did you find it? Actually through Instagram. Really? I was, I was sitting in my bed at home, scrolling on Instagram, and I just saw an ad that they had eSports and specifically Call of Duty. Really? So I was like, you know what? What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> With the opportunity now for Maverick eSports to push Would it be play. fair to say that eSports kind of opened a door for you to a different career path? No, 100%. Yeah. I had, I had no intentions of being in marketing or anything along that line. Um, my original was sales or even to be like a lawyer. When you get a call saying, hey, we want to put you on scholarship to college to play Call of Duty, what's the conversation like with mom and dad? They're just super excited because, you know, no money out of their pocket trying to pay for school, no student debt. It's just, hey, you get your degree and you get to play Call of Duty, which is what you wanted to do. So through my winnings in college, I was able to pay for my school fully. Brother, these guys cannot shoot back. We, we have about 157 people in the program, okay. students. So it's roughly a little over 10% of Dunwoody's student population. Four different games, okay. a varsity and a JV on each, for each game. Yeah, uh, League of Legends, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, the new one, uh, Valorant and Rocket League. How does one, and how does, you know, for specifically Dunwoody, go about targeting, noticing players that have potential and could be a great contributor to the program? This is a good question. Uh, so we did, there was a reason why we spent two months on tryouts. Mm -hmm. Some colleges base their teams on your rank. Well, these are college students. They don't have, they don't necessarily have the time to play ranked matches for f even a few hours every day. So every game we went through it and we did random, randomly placed scrimmages and then we had a grading rub rubric that we graded them on. That's, that's how we based our team selection. And In our first year, we earned a national championship and created a fun and friendly community for both competitive and casual gamers. How did eSports start at Mankato and when did it start? It started um, conceptually in about 2019. There was two main clubs on campus that were very large, CSGO and Mavlau for League of Legends. And the school consulted with them and myself on how to get a varsity program starting because that's kind of, it was very new for everyone and they just weren't sure how. And so they want to consult with the students and myself on how to create a program. What would you say to some of these young gamers to perhaps get, the, get in their mind that, hey, I might have an opportunity to play in college if I do this? Definitely reach out to your school if they have a club. If they don't, look into creating the club. Minnesota Varsity League is a great high school league um, that currently is a path from high school to college. We use that a lot to look for our recruits. But then also get active on Twitter, um, showcasing your skills and your teamwork. Yeah, oh, he got me, he got me a secret secret. And I'm really excited for in esports in general, just a whole new world of everything that can be. I think it's a great opportunity for any student, whether they want to play competitively or even go through and just want to work in esports. Um, I think there's just a whole world of opportunities there. I was one of the first scholarship players in just the Call of Duty uh, esport for college, and the amount of schools that have now made varsity programs and have offered scholarships, it's unreal. There's probably like 30 schools now that offer scholarship. I hope it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. We're kind of collegiate at the, the preteen stage where we're kind of out of the awkwardness, but not quite there yet. We're still figuring out rules, regulations. Like you said, we're not part of the NCAA. We don't have an overarching um, 
governing body, but we're, we're working the way towards that. And I think it's still like three to five years down the road. And you never even thought that this would be a thing when you first entered school? No, I, if you would have told me coming into college and the program that I would be where I was today with an internship, looking for careers, having the experience I've had, I would have probably just laughed because I wouldn't have believed it. <laughs>